Hello, and welcome to a tutorial on how to use your iPad to create PDFs for use in Schoology so that students can access them and use apps such as Notability uh, in order to complete some work, annotate articles, um, or do really a, a large variety of tasks. So here goes. Um, there are uh, two options that you can use in order to do this, and I'm going to show you what I believe is likely the easiest. So uh, we have a tool, Notability, in our toolbox here. So I'll click on Notability, and when you're in your recent notes, right, it's going to show you your folders here on the side, whether it's all notes, recent, untitled, or I have one that I've created named Technology. Um, what you're going to see is uh, you can create a new note on top which is right up here where the pen tool is. If I click there, I am going to have a new note to create. I'm going to use this as my pointer tool. So right up here, the plus, if I click there, I have options in my media. And one of the options that I have, if you have a newer update for Schoology, is document scan. Uh, this is obviously a great tool to be able to take paper copies of things and turn them into digital documents. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. You will see I have my handy add your own solar planet to the, or planet to the solar system handout I did with my kids. It automatically finds the borders and takes a picture for me. So once I'm done, I'm going to hit save right here on the bottom, right? I'm going to use this button right down here to hit save. And it's generating my PDF. And here you go. I'm going to scroll around. I can see that I have my entire PDF here. I could start working on this immediately, but even better, I can send it to Schoology in order to utilize this in my course of study. So right up here in the top left corner, I have my export button. I'm going to export. Now, I don't have Schoology as an option here, so what I'm going to do under other apps is leave everything the same. I want to leave this as a PDF, but very important because that's what you want students to access. And I'm going to leave all this other stuff the same. Okay, I'm going to hit share note. You're now going to see that I have the option right here to copy to Schoology, right? I'm going to click that. It's going to send me right over to Schoology, as you can see. And my only option, I don't want to submit to an assignment because I'm not submitting it to an, uh, a teacher. I don't want to add to uh, or drop it back to a student either. So the one thing that I'm going to really want to focus on always is adding to my resources. So I'm going to click that. Once I add to my resources, I, you can see, have a bunch of resources in here, right? I've got a whole bit, bunch of different resources. Actually, I'm sorry, it clicked me back out of here. So what I'm going to do is when I click add to my resources, I want to choose home right up on top, unless you've organized this in a way in Schoology to have other folders you want to use. So I'm going to hit home. And in home, you could have folders. This would be a different video that you're going to want to check out on how to organize resources in Schoology. But once you have it somewhere, I'm going to hit upload here. In a minute, it'll upload. And once it's finished, you'll get your green line across the top. And now you are all set. You have a PDF in your resources in Schoology. I'll show you where that resides on your app. But you're going to want to use your web browser and your web version to actually, like, you know, assign this to students. I just went into my uh, hamburger icon up top here, right? I call this the hamburger icon. I clicked on resources right here. And I am now in my home area right up top. And you will see all the way down at the bottom, here is my PDF that I created. Now, I'd want to go in and rename that eventually, um, but you know it is there. So that is a uh, basic idea of how to create PDFs and send them to Schoology. Then your students will be able to access them once you create an assignment. Uh, please check out some other tutorial videos on creating an assignment and adding PDFs in order to do that and give your students access. Hopefully you found this informative. Thank you for watching.